Several fireworks shows are planned for Oahu this 4th of July, with shows also taking place in each county. But for some, these celebrations are more than just the fireworks. They're ways to create stronger bonds in the community. Max Rodriguez reports. Something about a community fireworks show gets the excitement going. You know, when you watch fireworks, it just, it warms your heart, really, and it makes you feel um, just so happy. A 4th of July fireworks display is still a new event for the Haleiwa community. The idea came from the North Shore Chamber of Commerce as a way to draw more people to the town coming out of COVID and support its local businesses. A lot of people stay down in Waikiki and don't come over very often, local people, to Haleiwa. So we want to bring more people into Haleiwa to shop and, and just have fun in our town. Last year was the first time Haleiwa hosted a 4th of July fireworks show. They said about 15,000 people showed up throughout the day. And now that the word is out, they could expect even more. Because of the turnout, such a good turnout last year, we're kind of planning for double. The owner and chef of Maya's Tapas and Wine, Lamont Brown, will be returning as a food vendor. He says Haleiwa residents usually have to drive to other places to enjoy these types of events. He's hoping to change that. To build camaraderie between the businesses and the families as well and the communities so we're not just a tourist attraction. We need something here for us as well. Besides the 4th of July fireworks show in Haleiwa, the Kailua Beach fireworks will be returning this year at 8 p.m. Shuttles sponsored by Alexander and Baldwin will pick up goers at the Long's parking lot bus stop and the beach center between 4.30 and 10.30 at night. The Polynesian Cultural Center will also have fireworks on the 4th, while the celebration at Turtle Bay Resort will take place on July 2nd. These fireworks shows also taking place on Independence Day on neighbor islands. Expect lots of yummy things. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.